Welcome to Fallout number 18. And last time we went, traveled back in time, got Gizmo to sing. He could, he he hired me to kill Killian, but I'm not really on Gizmo's side, am I? I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm on anyone's side. Really, the only reason I'm making any decision on this quest is that I made a 2,000 cap deal with Killian. I consider him business partner, to be honest with you. I don't care about either of them. They're both just meaningless to me, but I do know that I don't want this guy to know I'm here because he might get angry. Are you going to get mad at me if I run past you? Okay, good. He, okay, he still knows it's in self-defense. So we're going to come back here. We're going to talk to Killian. Um, Gizmo's not too happy, not terribly happy about us double-crossing him, is he? Uh, he doesn't know yet, and he never will because, uh, you know, Killian's going to kill him, right? That's how this works, I think. So uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, I need to come here. Thank you. So we're going to go uh, tell Killian about this whole situation, and uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Let's, uh... Killing him would be really hard, too, because he's got so many guards. So, did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? The confession. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Oh, shit. Huh? I can take things from him? Oh, no, this is payment. Oh, I thought we were going to go kill him. I thought when he said other business, he meant w w you and me are going to go up there and shoot him in his fucking face in front of millions of, of poor, innocent people. But it, it seems that we're doing this. So doctor's medical kit. Um, shotgun and shells. That's that's fucking cash money, dude. That's ex that's expensive well, thanks stuff. Again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Sure, it'll be worth it just to see if you try to walk more than 10 feet. It kind of depends on what you're willing to give me. Again, I don't think so. I've got too, way too much stuff going on. Um, Honestly, I think I'd just do it for... I mean, he's given me a shotgun and ammo. We made a 2,000 cap. I mean, you know, business partners are business. But I mean, this one's going to be pro bono, right? Let's Total go for it. At the guard station, he'll fill you in. Now listen, this town owes you a lot. Yeah, let's talk to Lars at the guard station. Where is the guard station? Is that, uh, that's the prison. That's not even him here. Is this Lars? Or is the guard station down here? Well, I, I would assume it's probably down here if it's anywhere, right? Lars at the guard station. Gonna help me drive Gizmo out of this town and stop messing with my business partner. Let's see. Is this the guard station? Is this Lars? I can't get there. It's it's far too much of a distance. I couldn't possibly. I couldn't possibly. Can I do it now? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, that might also be Lars. I don't know which is which, but... Um, you ready to help take down Gizmo? You bet. Let's nail that tub. Let's do it. Oh shit, I'm here to take you in, Gizmo. This time I've got the proof I need. So it comes down to this killing. Well, I never could put up with your stake, and now I'm going to put an end to it. Wow, that was a lot of action very quickly. Um, so I, it would appear that I am not uh, ready for this task. It would have been nice if they would let me get my spear out. Uh, but, you know, we'll we'll make it happen. This is his guard, Iza, and this is Gizmo, the casino owner. Uh, so yeah, let's... Uh, Let's deal with Isa so this guy doesn't have to. Hey, let's get up there. Get in the meat. Where, whoa, where are you going? Oh, shit, he's the fucking jujitsu guy. Okay, well, he's on him. Okay. It's time for me to take down Gizmo, then. It's a bot. Holy shit, they are. Holy shit, that guy is getting destroyed. Oh, my God, that was brutal. That was horrifying. Can I melee Gizmo? I'd have to come here for that. Get him. Critically hit for 19 points. Blowing through the armor. I bet he has like a bulletproof vest or something maybe. God, this guy is a badass. He's just taking everything. Oh, he's down now. Oof. Oof. So does this mean the skulls are a problem? 
critically hit for five points and a forceful blow. I gotta say, the um, the the sixteen. Holy shit, that was graphic. The sixteen point um crit was a little bit more satisfying. But uh, I guess that's that. Thanks for all your help. Here's five hundred caps. You're always welcome in Junk Town, friend. So what happens to the casino? That seemed like a pretty big money maker for them, but. Well, that's Killian's problem now. I'm never coming back here. I mean, unless I want to do a trade deal with Killian. I do want to go back up and see what's uh, what's become of that office now, but... Who really knows, huh? 600 points for your work in the defeat of Gizmo. May the bastard rest in pieces. We haven't leveled up in an abysmally long time. Can I just say that? But before I level up, I do want to just check out... Um, Gizmo's play. Also, I'm very interested in the skulls. What's happening with them? Although they might try kill me. It's not really worth it, is it? I mean, it's not like they worked for Gizmo, but they worked, like, pretty close proximity to Gizmo. Uh, you know, is it really worth it? It's it's not, is it? It's, it's just not. So let's see what's going on in Gizmos. Is this thing still operational? How's it going in here, guys? Oh, shit, it's just fucking gone. And that's what I was hoping for. Fucking corpse looting. All right, the spoils of war. 50 caps. Don't mind if I do. And what does Gizmo got for me? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, can't I, like, loot his corpse? Surely. Here we go. Okay. Oh, what is that? Nine millimeter ball? I don't know what that's for. Oh, it must be for this, which is a nine millimeter Mauser, and he has food and a hundred caps. Uh, not, I would expect nothing less. This is the the inventory of my imaginings. Let's take all of it. And a Mauser. That's an interesting gun. Let's see what's uh. Let's see what kind of work that's doing. For. And Killian did give us a shotgun, right? Uh, so what is this? This is a shotgun, damage 12 to 22. And it's a 12 gauge with two bullets. It's the exact same item, but it's not loaded. Um, so that's, that's pretty good, I'd say. Uh, and the uh, Mauser, I want to check out too. 12 to 22, 14 range, two clip size. This has 5 to 10, range 22. Okay, so this is shit. But it's good. It's, it's expensive. It's good money, right? Um, also, I wanted to check out this door, because I'm pretty sure this was locked, right? Yeah, but I couldn't lockpick it because he was right there, so... I've now lockpicked it. Oh, I wasn't able to. Well, can I try again? Or is it just fucked? It's like, I'm... I'm just not fu- I'm like, I'm forever locked out of this room now. Is that how this works? Well, we did our best. Uh, let's check this bookshelf, and then we'll level up! Then we'll level up. How about that? Um, there's nothing in here, is there? So let's, uh, quickly look at the traits that I like to level. If I can find it. Here we go. And let's get my randomizer out. As is tradition. As is tradition. We always randomize our stats in accordance with the randomized special traits in order for maximal role-playing as our build. Um, we do need to... How do I do it again? It's this, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Oh, shit, we are finally level four. Is that right? Oh, we got to pick a perk, though. That's good. Um, so let's let's look at these. That's right, I do get to pick a perk. Um, bonus HTH damage. Experience in unarmed combat has given you the edge when it comes to damage. Uh, oh, hand-to-hand. -hand. You cause plus two points of damage with hand-to-hand -hand and melee attacks for each level of the perk. That seems good. With each level of this perk, you get a plus one bonus to your healing rate. Thus, you heal faster. I'm not upset at that either, am I? I mean, that's not a horrible one. Quick pockets. You've learned to better store your equipment on your person. With each level of this perk, the AP cost to access inventory in combat is reduced by one. That doesn't seem super great, although I do use that pretty often because they make you put your weapon away in cities. A smooth talker has learned to increase their options in dialogue without understanding what they're talking about. Each level of this perk will increase your intelligence by one for purposes of dialogue. Only that is fucking good, actually. Because my dialogue is shit tier, I think. Strong back. AK Mule, you can carry an additional 50 pounds of equipment for each level of this perk. And Swift Learner. 
as each level will give you an additional 5% bonus whenever you earn experience points bets purchased at an early level. That is six. We are going to randomly select one of them because none of them are related to the other necessarily. Strong back. That's like the one I didn't want, but let's take it. We are now strong back. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. <laughs> That's the one I probably didn't want. But um, in saying that, my weight might be... I have a lot of stuff, so... Um, let's see. Oh, my charisma is actually average. It's my perception of my luck that's really bad. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to do our strength, for which there are two traits. And uh, we're going to do our... Do I want to do unarmed? That seems like a huge waste, but that's what God told me to do. God's told me to do unarmed. Surely, right? Surely. There has to be some weapons that use unarmed, right? Like in, in Fallout uh, New Vegas, or Fallout 3, like the Power Fist is an unarmed item. Like, surely there's something like that? Whatever, I can't, I can't fight it. <laughs> well... <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> We're just gonna do... <laughs> this is what we signed up for. I don't get to fight it. So ag agility has 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is, this is our life. We're, we are very good at unarmed. We should use unarmed more. It's no good to us if we just keep not using it. Small guns. Um, probably for the best, honestly. I'm probably gonna need to start using that more often. So that'll be good. That'll help our agility. And then what's the last one? Doctor of Science Repair and Outdoorsman for Intelligence. And we are doing... Repair. How do you even do that? Do you just... The, the fixing of broken equipment, machinery, and electronics. I'm sure we'll bump into that eventually, right? I'm sure that, that has to be useful at some point. We'll take it. Did that really say print? Hang on. Is there really... Can I really print this? Oh, it's like export or what? <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that is. I don't want to mess with it because Fallout's going to fucking crash if I open a file. So we're not going to touch that. <laughs> so we're just going to pretend like that functionality is not there. That's exciting though. Um, can I still gamble? Oh, no, they took the machines out completely. Oh, damn. Um, okay, so that's really all there is, is there, isn't it? Um, I suppose we could uh, get out of here, but I can't. We have to, like, literally physically leave the area. So let's get out of Junktown. Let's go to the hub. Now this storyline has been completely resolved, completely settled. Um, we'll come back here eventually. Uh, I'm sure we have, uh, we'll get more things. We can do some more trades with Killian. You know how it is. I, I love a good trade with Killian. A good business partner, very profitable, huge fan. Love working with the guy. I'm sure I'll be back. And I'm in good favor of all the guards. I mean, there's, there's, you know, it's, it, it's all, it's coming up roses. It's coming up daisies for us, really. I think that's a saying that you say when someone's dead, but, it's, you know, appropriately, Gizmo is pushing up daisies now. So, you know, I guess that saying could really go either way. But. You know, let's uh, let's get out of the hub. Let's put on our spear because I don't like traveling into the wasteland without having my spear handy. Sorry to have my spear out in public. I know you guys have a thing about that, but I'm just gonna I'm not going to the wasteland without my spear equipped. That's just a, a personal thing, okay? Gonna get out. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, to the hub. We're gonna see what's down here. If I remember correctly, there's uh, nothing down here. I mean, there's there's a whole city that we have to get to, but the first area is just all cops and a guy who doesn't like talking. So we are going to go to the entrance. Although we will try and find that guy again, won't we? Um, where was he? He was in a house down here, wasn't he? Maybe it was this one. Let's get down here regardless. I can't see how to get into this house. Was he in this house, maybe? Do you wager? Try opening that door. See if this guy's in here so I can barge in. 
Are you the guy I want to talk to? Oh, I should probably put my weapon away, right? That's usually how this thing goes. I can't get there. Why not? Oh, it was the door locked. I didn't even look at it. No, nope, there we go. How's it going, police officer of the hub? Is that also a police officer of the hub? What about this guy? Are you cool? Hmm. Well, either way, um, <laughs> we'll end here where we were two episodes ago. But, you know, what we lack in, in progress, we make up for in loads of experience. Oh, I bet this guy is the guy. I do just kind of want to... Well, we'll talk to him next time. I'll talk to him next time. We'll, we'll get more... We'll remember what's going on with the hub, and then we'll uh, continue on. So, uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.